Hello, I'm Sierra Corrin, and you are tuning into the first unofficial episode of Wildcat TV. Welcome, 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 welcome,
If you are interested in joining the Youth Advisory Council or want to learn more, go to THCF.org. Click on the Initiatives and Impacts tab and go to the Youth Advisory Council tab and apply. The website also shows how the Youth Advisory Council and the Truman Heartland Community Foundation works together to help our community. Next week, we'll have even more information on the Youth Advisory Council with an interview with Jay Dawson. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Grayson Austin. Back to you in the studio. Hey, Emily. I'm thinking about doing A plus tutoring this year, but I haven't heard anything recently. Do you know anything about it? Yeah, but Ava knows more. Let's go to her for some information about it. Seniors, if you have not enrolled in the A-plus program and wish to do so, the deadline is this Friday, October 14th. A-plus requires 50 hours of tutoring, and you cannot start until you attend a training. Upcoming training dates are October 12th, October 19th, and November 9th. RSVP with Mrs. Carpenter via Schoology or email at lcarpenter at vssd.net. 10th through 12th graders are eligible to enroll now, but freshmen cannot enroll until the beginning of second semester. Signing off, it's Ava. Back to Emily and Addie. Wow, I'm going to go check out the A-plus program now. But wait, we're still... I guess it's time for a commercial break. I'm a librarian and I scout. I'm a teacher and I scout. I am the preschool teacher and I scout. I'm a custodian and I scout. I'm a nurse and I scout. I'm a secretary and I scout. I'm a construction worker and I scout. I'm a student and I scout. I am the director and I scout. Open weekdays 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday 7 to 5, Sunday 7 to 2. Hey students, this is Brandon Jackley with Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. We are looking for great talent, so why don't you come join us? Some of the great things about working at Chick-fil-A Blue Springs is that we promote from within our own team. We have flexible hours where you can create your own schedule. We have competitive pay where full-time team members start at 15 an hour. We also offer college scholarships. Last year we had 11 students receive a college scholarship from Chick-fil-A Blue Springs. So come join the Chick-fil-A Blue Springs family by texting my pleasure to 816-494-2208 to apply today. Hi, I'm Isaiah Bragg with Country Financial. My wife and I and our family live in Blue Springs. In fact, my wife is a teacher in the school district. When it comes to covering your needs for auto, home, business, and life insurance, we can help you out through Country Financial. We offer auto discounts for teachers, students with good grades, police officers, firefighters, and EMTs. We have very competitive rates, and it's worth a phone call to find out how much you can save. Call us at 816-795-6340 or come by our office just off AA Highway in Grain Valley. What did you just get done doing? I went out for a run. I'm trying to get in shape for Miss Bishop's 5K. Oh, what is that? Jackson knows more than I do. Let's go see him. Thanks, Deuce and Layla. Wait. W. I thought. And why are you so tall? Well, Jackson, ETV and Wildcat TV are going to partner together so we can both do this Miss Bishop 5K segment. But this height difference is just not working. I got an idea. That's better. Hey, Jackson, what do you think we should do now? Well, Jackson, I think we should head into Miss Bishop's room and ask her about this 5K. Uh -huh. Well, Jackson's Mrs. Bishop, I'm here with her today. Can you please tell us a little bit more about how middle schoolers can sign up for this 5K? Of course. So on the back of your donut form, there are two QR codes. The top one, if you take your phone and act like you're taking a photo, it will link you to the Run Sign Up link to sign up for the Pink Power 5K. That's great, but can you tell us a little bit more about how high schoolers can do it? Oh, sure. I will make it easy for you. Wildcat TV is going to put the QR code up on the screen, and you can just pause it and use your phone to link that way to the race sign up. That's great. Thank you so much, Mrs. Bishop. Thank you. Thanks, Maddie and Miss Bishop, on how to sign up for the 5K. Speaking of signups, let's go see some people who have already signed up. That's a great idea. You've got it? Yeah. Wait, you need a mic. So, you guys have already signed up. Why did you sign up for the 5K? 
Um, mostly because Miss Bishop's like my favorite teacher and I like supporting her. That's great. What are you excited about? I'm excited to see my friends and support Miss Bishop. Thank you. Thanks ETV for having us here. Uh, we've really enjoyed it. Don't forget to sign up for the 5K. Well, it's time for the better Marvel to take over. Wait a second. That's better. Don't forget to sign up for the 5K with the information on the screen. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, CTV, for letting us partner on that story. Do you want to go learn about one of our most successful programs at Blue Springs High School? Yeah. Take it away, Keelan. Hey, Wildcats. Today, we're going to be going over FFA. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Miss Peyton and I am the FFA sponsor here at the Blue Springs High School. Um, this past uh, school year, our officer team applied in our national chapter application, which is a statewide competition um, where they highlight activities and events that our chapter has done throughout the year. And that application has led us to compete on the national stage. So um, Jenna Gilman and Bianca Blair are going to go to nationals um, at the end of October and give a presentation um, which will be in a live audience um, facility and then it's also going to be televised um, and they're going to highlight our African-American um, agriculture influence movement um, which just shows how our chapter has really tried to embrace um, learning from our history and sharing our knowledge so um, they're going to do that competition on Wednesday, October the 25th, and then um, that Friday we will go up on stage where they will announce whether we took first, second, or third in the nation. Good luck at Nationals, guys. I'm Keelan Johnson. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Keelan. It's time for the blood drive. Someone say blood drive? Keelan, what? What are you doing here? We just got done with yours. I heard someone say blood drive. Not again. It's Amaya's turn. Take it away. Hey Wildcats, don't forget our school is having a blood drive Tuesday, October 25th from 7.15 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. in the small gym. You must be 16 or older to participate. And if you are 16, you need a parent permission form, which you can pick up from Mrs. Birdsell in the library. Appointment signups will begin October 17th and run through the 24th during lunch in the cafeteria and in the Wildcat Walk. You can also use the website savealifenow.org slash group and enter code LL to book your appointment today. Now, if you have any questions, you can talk to Mrs. Birdsell in the library. This is a lot of information. I think we need a commercial break. Yeah, we'll be right back. Hey guys, Nate Mitchell here at Culver's. You already know we got the best burgers in town, but I want to tell you about an awesome new dessert menu item we've got. Come on, let's check it out. You can now get any of our concrete mixers, shakes, and malts blended together with our signature Culver's root beer. For example, this is our root beer shake made with our fresh frozen custard. Come by and try one for yourself. We can't wait to see you. Blue Springs, South 7 Highway or Independence right off I-70. Your home is your castle. Are pests invading your castle? Let Mach 2 Pest Control help protect your home from invading armies of pests. We create a moat around your home to protect it from super highway of pests trying to invade your castle. Get your throne back. Make pests a thing of the past with Moxie Pest Control. See how at killbugsfast.com. Uh, my name is Chelsea. I've been coming here since I was 15, which is not too long ago. No. I've <laughs> been coming here since I was 15, and I love, I love coming to Dalquas Dental. I feel comfortable here. I'm never anxious or worried about any of the care I'm going to receive here, which is actually a big deal. <laughs> For me, I've been to a lot of dentists. Um, Dr. Ryan is always meticulous and he's very careful and thorough and I really, really love that about here. Addie! Addie! Where did you go, Addie? I went to the Dig for the Cure game. Cool, let's go to Riley to see how that went. Hey Wildcats, my name is Riley Leone and I'm here at Blue Spring South at the Dig for a Cure Pink Out Game. Let's go see how it went. Hi, this is Lori Ruhlman and I am here tonight for our Pink Out Game, which is an annual volleyball game that we do for 
proceeds going to breast cancer. Um, tonight it is going to be Blue Springs versus Blue Springs South. So we are here at South this year. We have lots of auction items that are sports memorabilia that we are auctioning off tonight and lots of raffle items that people get to buy tickets for. So all of those proceeds that we have go straight to the Stephanie Vest program for breast cancer. So obviously the better turnout and the more money we get, the better. Hi, my name is Kaylee Jenkins and I'm a senior here at Blue Springs High School. The game, the Dig Peak game went really well. I thought we played extremely well together compared to the last time we played them. I thought we played great, but we still have a lot of room for improvement. The super fans like on both sides of town, like it was just a great environment to be in. Um, I think their energy kind of like rubbed off on us. So that way when we got a point, like it was just, it was big and it was fun, so. Great job, girls. I had a great time at the game, and I got the opportunity to speak with so many amazing people. Now, that's all I have for you today. Back to you in the studio. My name is Riley Leone. Thanks, Riley. What are you doing? I just got done running, and a nice lady gave me a snack. Wow, that's so cool. I want to know more about her. Wait, does Avery have more information about this? Let's go see. This year, our cross-country team has a super fan. She lives right next to our school where our Wildcats practice for their meets. When they pass her house, she cheers them on, and sometimes waits even an hour after they return to cheer them on when they're coming back to the school. Mr. McDavid has more. We have this super fan of ours for the cross country team. Her name's Nancy. On the days when we go out on the road, she likes to come out to her porch. She watches for us every day. She brings a bell, and she rings the bell while we're running by and yells and encourages us. Her son actually ran here back in the 90s, early 90s, 92, 93. We found a couple of plaques that actually have a picture of all the team um, from those couple of years uh, that have him on it. So it's kind of neat. She just she really loves cross country, likes to support us. She's even come out to a few meets this year and has brought the bell and has you know been yelling and ringing the bell for us. It's been kind of a neat, neat thing for our kids and um, the kids have kind of uh, adopted her in a way as our super fan. I am so glad to be able to cheer them on, encourage them because so many of us are feeling down and out with so many things. I cherish each of them. They make my life alive and may you do the same thing for those around you and care about them because that's what it's all about. We're a community. Thank you, team. We are so grateful to have these kind of people cheering on our athletes. I'm Avery Gamble, back to you in the studio. Wow, Avery knows so much. Yeah, I know, right? You know who else knows a lot? Who? Tyler. He's got our sports covered this week. Take it away, Tyler. Um, so our last meet, uh, we were actually separate. So the girls went to Green Valley and the boys went to Ray Peck. Our last meet was good. I think that it was a pretty like tough course, so a lot of us didn't get like our times that we wanted, but overall we placed good. Girls, uh, both varsity and junior varsity got first place team, and we had several girls place um, in their division. The boys, um, didn't do quite as well, but we had a few boys out that weren't able to run, so uh, we're looking forward to the upcoming weeks. So for districts, we anticipate our girls to do really well. Um, they've consistently been at the top for their teams and individually, a few of them. Um, so hopefully as a team, they'll advance to state. I don't want to like set the goal too high, but I think that we could like definitely get, I mean, we're probably going to qualify for state. Well, Definitely going to qualify for state, but hopefully, like one or two, like, as in, or not individually, but team wise, hopefully, we get like first or second. I think we definitely could. Um, the boys, we've got a few boys that um, run really well, um, so we should have one or two that advance individually. Conferences are October 15th, um, then we have a week off. Districts are the following weekend, so that would be the 29th. And then state is November 4th. 
districts are at Kearney and then state is in Columbia that's kind of far away but we'd love to see you there and our kids would love to hear you cheering for them as they run by. Soccer had their senior night Thursday where they beat Blue Springs South 3-1. to one. Two of those goals being scored by seniors Sawyer Turpin and Garrett also. And the other goal was assisted by senior Tanner Jackley. Make sure to support the softball girls as districts are coming up. Brooklyn Saysoff says the teams are so good it's going to be a dogfight, but I think we have a good chance to win. Good luck, softball team. Thanks, Tyler. Well, that's all for this episode. Make sure to tune in next week for another episode of Wildcat TV. Also, follow our socials. And remember, remember it's, it's a great day to be a Wildcat! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally! Yeah!